Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at godly Mike Johnson trying to save the con man who used his campaign funds to buy the very memberships that Johnson pays for a membership to not see. Gavin Newsom used Ron DeSantis as a bobblehead mop in front of a stunned Sean Hannity who did his best to help the Florida governor who spent most of the time trying to figure out how to smile while keeping steady in the boots he bought from Paul Stanley's cobbler. I'm going to have a laugh blasting through highlights and mocking the performance by Ron DeSantis who continues to act like a wind-up animatronic programmed by Mike Lindell. Plus, there are more tech fails from that lumpy pillow guy. I have a laugh with George Santos' exit and a fan favorite returns to promote Marjorie Taylor Greene's book and more. But first, this. I told a story last week or two weeks ago for the first time. When we... Thank you. Thank you. Doesn't sound like my kind of a lover, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's old man, that guy, I gotta tell you. You gotta, you gotta see this guy. Doesn't sound like my kind of a lover. Well, I guess it wasn't the daughter he wishes he could date or a contestant from his teen beauty pageant or the Melania stunt double that pretends to lawyer for him. It is pouring MAGA tears. It's fantastic to have you back for the weekend episode. Laugh along with the good people in the comments while I get into the latest and stupid and more. As I predicted in my midweek video, George Santos to Volder Goldberstein has been expelled. And it wasn't long ago that he told a crowd this. Look, you guys are the future. I don't want to be repetitive. Keep fighting for what you think is best and for what you believe in. And with that, all I'll say is, I'm not going anywhere. First off, never a great sign when you have someone in to do a big speech and they leave the game on everywhere, okay? You're below the televised game. It does blow my mind seeing these fans, especially since the details of his past have been out for so long, but people continue to support Trump. Only the best and brightest for MAGA, and I'm guessing they got a free pint. If anybody in the peanut gallery is going to go anywhere, you're going to have to drag my dead cold body out of this institution. Thank you very much for coming out of here. Well, he went out easy and got into a soon-to-be repossessed Jaguar while maintenance immediately changed the locks. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is standard or they're using extra precaution because of Santos' criminal past, but that is a brave man cracking the door to George's wank den since we know work was definitely not done in there. You want to bring us back to a pre-1960s world, America in reverse. Uh, you want to roll back hard-earned national rights on voting rights, on civil rights, on LGBTQ rights, on women's rights, not just access to abortion, but also access to contraception. You want to weaponize grievance. You are focusing on false separateness. You in particular, Ron, are on a banning binge, a cultural purge, intimidating and humiliating people you disagree with. You and President Trump are really trying to light democracy on fire, so... I just love seeing Ron suffer through this. Gavin hasn't even taken the gloves off, and Ron's trying to figure out what kind of pudding he'll be comforting himself tonight without a spoon. Sean, there are profound differences tonight, and I look forward to engaging him, but there's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. When you open with a mic drop, you know this is going to be savage. Gavin's not going to be the nominee. Will he be one day? I hope so. But Ron doesn't have a shot, and it's great to see such brutality from the get-go. I'm the only guy here that's a border state governor. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games to try to get some news and attention so you can out-Trump Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41 points in your own home state. Is it ever a good thing when someone says, how's that going for you? 
DeSantis has given it his best to be Trump 2.0 while attacking Trump, and it's not working. Uh, Donald Trump that, himself so. today Please. called you Red Ron Please. for a reason, because of your complete hypocrisy. All right, we're almost out of time. Talking a big game. I confronted she Our... on the issue of fentanyl, Ron. I confronted them not on, on human, human rights. rights. You didn't. I absolutely did with the foreign minister and the vice president. Trump did call him Red Ron and a San Francisco crackhead. And when he brings up that jab, remember, he's fine with Lindell being a paid member at Mar-a-Lago. Joining us now is the host of the Lindell Report, Mike Lindell. Hey, Mike. Hey, Brandon. We had a little emergency here. My my cross, you know, uh, that you always see me wearing, uh, actually broke. I hooked it on it, something here as I was going on my show. And uh, so, so that you, was an emergency. You had to go get another one. You had to go get another one. No, no, no. This is the only one I have. This is 15 years old. Oh. This is, uh, yeah, this is my cross necklace. Yeah. Uh, this isn't a lapel. This is the real deal here on the, on the, uh, so that was an emergency. We almost had to miss the show. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, the, uh, I think it's quite a story behind this cross, actually. If you read my book, it was on my, on me when, uh, this state where the book opens down in Mexico. Um, and, uh, it's quite a story where well, you got threatened um, with a sword. That's right. And it hit, actually hit the cross. So that's, uh, Wow. Pretty amazing. But, uh, wow. 15 years old. So you've had it as long as Matt Gates' date has been on Earth. The sword hit the cross. Come on, Mike. You must have been high as balls. Like, that had to have been a plastic sword from the dollar store because an actual sword would slice through that Claire's accessory like butter. And what will you say? Joe Biden will be our nominee in a matter of weeks. And in a matter of weeks, Sean, he'll be endorsing Donald Trump as a nominee for the Republican Party. If they Exactly. It won't be long until DeSantis is padding the Big Mac diaper and Ron knows it. He has to know it. And if he didn't know it before, he must know it now. Oh, wait. Also pulling out the map of the, the feces in San Francisco, another strong and powerful moment. So I think the clear winner, Ron DeSantis, in a nearly impossible task for Gavin Newsom. Yeah, their big victory was Ron pulling out a fake poop map. What is it with people refusing to accept a clear loss? Gavin may as well have shown up with a pine box and a nail gun because he was making a coffin on live television. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. Do you believe he's going to be the, the nominee for the Democratic Party? Not after last night. I don't think he will be. Because yeah. I, think, I think we showed, we exposed him. We exposed the failed liberal policies and um, he didn't really have an answer. I mean, Gavin was never going to be the nominee. And this guy thinks he exposed Newsom, who was a fact machine gun in his face. Results matter. Inflation now is down to 3.2%. Wages are up to 4.4%. The economy is booming. 5.2% GDP growth in the last quarter. Those are facts you don't hear on Fox News. 14 million jobs, 10 times Let me move the last on. Three. That was a light. Hannity is constantly looking for the fire escape. And it's because this was Sean's idea. He pitched it to Gavin in an interview. Good evening, I'm Tucker Carlson. And tonight I want to talk about the plot to cancel a book without a plot. Huh? What is that about? It's about Marjorie Taylor Greene, who released an autobiography, and she's avoiding using the term autobiography because her eyes too close together fan base would assume that it's the life story of cars. But it doesn't matter if the words are big or very small, because nobody is talking about the book. In fact, it's at the very bottom of Amazon's bestseller list at 9,805. Oh, oh no, no, Jeff Bezos is suppressing MTG with his space lasers to zap the rankings of conservative authors. <laughs> Amazon is favoring liberal authors, and it's not fair. It's not right. I haven't finished MTG, but if there's a picture of her feet in it, then it would be certainly scarier than anything Stephen King could write. 
I'm sure many people, the real American people, the patriots who love this country, would find it interesting to learn the struggles of Marjorie Taylor Greene and discover how her wealthy businessman father, Robert Taylor, pretty much handed his multi-million dollar company, Taylor Commercial, to Greene and her then-husband, crowning them president and vice president on paper, enabling her to collect paychecks and moderate a right-wing conspiracy theory Facebook group while attempting to open a CrossFit gym. Truly an incredible story of the American dream. But nobody is buying this page turner. Why is that? Uh, he should not be running. Uh, he is not up to the job. Uh, and it is dangerous for this country. Well, I'll take, I'll, I will take Joe Biden at 100 versus Ron DeSantis any day of the week at any age. In fact, all so of do the you folks think, you think on he's the up to the job? Yeah. You think he's 100%? I've been spending 100%? plenty of time with 100%? Joe Biden in okay. private and public. Answer. Gotta love when you are smashing someone with clever quips and the truth, and the best they can do is weirdly lick their lips. What is that, Ron? What is that? In history, the lowest unemployment for women in 70 years, the lowest black poverty rates in history. That's this administration's agenda. And by the way, as you smile and smirk over there, you should know this, the American people. Here's a guy who celebrated Bidenomics just this week, celebrating $28 million that came into your state because of the Chips and Science Act, one of the most significant economic plans right. since FDR. I'm proud of the work Biden and Harris have done. They love pretending they aren't taking the money and that it's not doing great things. It's awesome to see him clobbering this urine sample collector. Yeah. Oh, that's a good guarantee. All right, all right, everybody. So there's the my pillow specials, and now now I want to shift to um, uh, the Lindell Recovery Network, and, and, and I'm going to go there. This gets um, um we're kind of going is when I created websites, so. You know, I was an ex-crack addict and, and addict in every way, and I um, I set up um, um, the Lindell Recovery Network to help other addicts. And if, uh, it's uh, LindellRecoveryNetwork.org, everybody. Hey, guys, pull that down while I try to find this thing, please. You guys are sleeping uh, there tonight? Oh, I love the tech fails of the biggest broadcast place ever. The thing is, they are not asleep. After all, this show sponsored by Lumpy Pillows. They are just the best Lindell could hire in rural Tennessee where this show's made. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again. Good dude. Well, my beautiful blonde meat swamps cross-dressing friend got tossed, and I'm not talking salad style, and I'm not talking about her side piece, Brian Glenn, who went on television in this outfit, but rails against others that do the same. Yes, boy George Santos was expelled from Congress, and he threatened to spill the beans, okay, on insider trading, adultery, hard drinking, all the other awesome things that he was totally fine with until he was being shown the door. Bye-bye. Now, we are considering having more for dinner to discuss all the dirty hats and to make sure that he keeps his greasy fish lips shut about anything involving my pipe bomber Georgia Gremlin. And if either of us are exposed to her south of the thigh make grown men graph feet that make me think of a plate of mashed potatoes without any cling film left in the back of the fridge for two weeks, what are you doing back there? You are disgusting. We are talking cocktail pass around hot dog toes, the kind you get on a toothpick when you attend the premiere of a Kevin Sorbo movie at the Dollar Theater and they want to try and wow the right wing celebrities with microwave meat when it's really just an IQ test because I saw Charlie Kirk and Kirk Cameron try and eat those with the toothpick still in. Ow, ow, ow. These are not normal feet, people. It looks like you made it Freddy Krueger with a Klingon addicted to triple cheese pizza and then wrapped that skin around a bee sting side effect and threw in the juice from an expired dented sardine tin from the survivalist kit. I sell to the dum-dums because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. They will never expel Santos. You are a time waster. Mega tears. If you watch this baldy, you can't say you're a real patriot. Mega tears. You are in The Edge of Tomorrow. That is a decent movie, but it makes sense you would want to work with Tom Cruise because you are both liberal freaks. Mega tears. But that's a brave man for cracking the door to George's wank den since we know work was def... <laughs> George's wank den. Amazon is favoring liberal authors, and it's not fair. It's not right. I haven't finished MTG, but if there's a picture of her feet in the middle, then it would be scarier than anything Stephen King could write. Uh, wow, the cross is 15 years old. That's like one of Matt Gates' dates. <laughs> because I saw Charlie Kirk and Kirk Cameron, not Captain Kirk. He's way too famous. They, they try to eat those toothpicks with still do it. You were high as balls. That must have been a plastic stored, stored. 
enabling her to collect paychecks and moderate a right-wing conspiracy theory group while attempting to open a CrossFit gym. <laughs> I can't think of her exercising uh, without laughing. It's so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, boy George Santos was expelled from Congress, and he is threatening to spill the beads. Beads? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. Please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.